how to add checkpoints in your Unity game. Follow these steps. Right click and add a cube. That cube will be a collectible item that when your player touches, it will define the new checkpoint. But look, this cube is too far away. Let me move it. Copy and add more. If you want more checkpoints, you can do this, but this step is optional. You can also parent them, not by this way. You can make another cube and then add those three cubes inside. This step is also optional, so I will show you what to do instead. Go to your player, respawn script, because you don't want to add a new script. If you didn't follow the way that I imported this script, you can download it. Serialize field, list. The list contains game objects inside, and the game objects will be the checkpoints. The checkpoints will need to have their own vector tree, which is the position that will change once your player falls down outside the threshold, but collects the checkpoint or runs across it. The on trigger enter is something that I explained in previous videos. Instead of using if other game object tag, you can do this instead. Make sure that the other, which is the collider, has the transform position which becomes equal to the vector tree that I will define right now. The vector tree is called vector point, which is the point of the cube checkpoints. In this case, vector point should be player transform position, but I'm calling it player position, which will also be a vector tree but I will use the transform position of the collider. This line destroys the game object, not your player, it destroys the cube, because we check if the player is touching it. New vector 3 player position x, y and z. That is the current player position after respawning without collecting, but when you collect the object for checkpoint, it will change into the transform position of the vector point. Save the script and go back to Unity. Go to the player response system and type the number of checkpoints. Now click and drag the checkpoints. Like this. You don't have to type anything in the vector point. Just try and see what will happen. When you try to collect the checkpoint, I haven't set is trigger. Sorry, my mistake. But even after setting it didn't work. Type vector point equals No, not this line of code. But player position, it has to match with the player position like defined before. Although I haven't showed you all those scripts, don't worry, I will explain what the lines of code mean. When I try to play this game, I try to collect the checkpoint, it disappears, but I want to fall out of the screen, and it doesn't work. Why? Let me show you the fix. It's very easy. You just have to go back to Visual Studio and change some line of the code. Whoa, that's not a solution. Vector point becomes player position. It should be opposite. The player position becomes the vector point of the checkpoint. Now let's try again. Huh? Let's try again. It works, but I have one problem that is very annoying. The character controller was disabled. I need to get rid of this message. So I went to the script. First, I had to remove the destroy because I don't want to destroy the object. 
and I also removed the void enable controller because that produced hundreds of warnings in my game. I should set get component character controller but before reducing the health of the character which is like this. Enabled false, player position becomes this, the character controller is now enabled and health reduces by 1. Save the script and go back to Unity. I don't like the size of those cubes. It's annoying how big they are. And I will also show you how to make only checkpoints to change the player's respawn position and not any other collision like the bullets. If the checkpoints are compared with the player, other game object compare tag, checkpoint, then you should call those two lines of code. Because without that, every single collision, even the touch of the door which has the collider or the touch of the bullet will also produce the collision that will change the respawn point of your player. We don't want that. We want only checkpoints to change the respawn position. So let's try again. First make sure you don't forget to set them. The checkpoints have to be part of each checkpoint. So they have to be tagged to make the script work. I will test it on my smartphone. Hey Cosmo! Here's your smartphone. I'm playing this game on my phone now. And wow, it looks amazing! Let's try to make the checkpoints. It works perfectly. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for new updates from the creator of Cosmobot. Bye!